All right, in order to center our part about the origin, they were going to use the the constraint feature. And there's, as you see up here, there's a lot of different type of constraints. And so the the one we'll start with here will be the, well, let's start with the horizontal constraint here. Okay? And for future reference, if you hover your mouse over any one of these uh, buttons here, and for a few seconds, it'll give you a brief animation of what that what that button does or a brief explanation. So go ahead and left click on horizontal constraint. And the way this works is we we'll, we want uh, our part to be constrained horizontally. Uh, so in other words, this left and this right side here, it's going to be constrained to some point. And the point we're going to use here is the origin. So let's left click on this first. And then the next step is we can choose the left or right side of this. Well, I'll go to the left side and hover your mouse toward the center of this line here. You'll know you're at the center when you see this green dot pop up. Left click on that green dot. And if you notice my part, uh, the, the rectangle moved up. Okay. So now the center of this, you know, my rectangle or excuse me, the center of the side of the rectangle is constrained to the the, the origin here. They're now aligned, in other words. Right? And if you notice that my pointer, it has this little horizontal bar next to it. That means I'm in the horizontal constraint feature. And as I said before, to get when you're done with the feature to get out of it, just right click, look for the green uh, skinny check mark next to OK, left click. Okay? So now we want to we want to constrain the uh, uh, you notice that I have more of my rectangle on the right side here. So we want to constrain it vertically. Okay? So let's go over here to our constraint section and left click vertical constraint. Notice my pointer. It now has a vertical bar uh, off to the bottom right of it. And that means I'm in the vertical constraint feature. So once again, we're going to click the origin. And then you can use the top or bottom of this rectangle. I'm going to use the top part. And right in the middle there, we see the green dot, left click. And you can see that it is now symmetric on both sides. Um, and to get out of this feature, right click, click OK. Just to point out what just happened when I used the vertical constraint, if you probably noticed that the right side just, it, uh, it shrunk a little bit just to match the left side. The reason why it shrunk instead of the rectangle moving over is because I don't have any dimensions on this part uh, on this part yet so in the next video we're actually going to put dimensions on our rectangle to to give it specific values as to how big this is